It's a long time since either of them has laughed or even smiled. But Felipe and his son Christopher are making the most of being back together. When they crossed the US border in May, Felipe was arrested and jailed. And his son, who's seven, taken to a shelter. They didn't see each other again for two months. My son had never been separated from me. He felt bad. It was really hard. There were tears because I didn't know what was happening to him. It was more than a month before I could even talk to him on the phone. But the family remained separated. Felipe's wife, who was pregnant, decided to turn back at the border and return to their native Honduras. There she gave birth to their second son, whom Felipe has yet to meet. He hopes to eventually bring them to the U.S. He's been fitted with an electronic tag while his application to remain is considered. He wants a job. That's very telling, um, you know, when, when you hear stories of people coming through the border to, to um, take advantage of the American system and American lifestyle. No, the first question is always, can I start working now? Um, there is no guarantee that he would not be subject to removed, to be deported. But Felipe is convinced the ordeal he and his family have endured will be worth it. We came here because Honduras is going through a difficult situation. Job opportunities are almost zero. That is why we came to this country, to get more opportunities, a better future. However, the zero tolerance policy towards illegal immigration means the suffering Felipe and his son have been through means their efforts may ultimately have been in vain. John Brain, TRT World, Virginia.